This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Que pasa to the pack? It is Pack here. AKA your mama's best friend. And the defending champions of the NBA just got even better. There is a trade for Dennis Schroeder going on. It has not officially happened, but it is confirmed that it's going to happen by Waj. And I'm excited to talk about it and see where it's going to go and what it's looking like according to NBA 2K21 on the next generation. But before this video starts, so leave a like on the video because you'd be surprised how much it helps the channel out and join the pack and subscribe. So we're going for the first time, by the way, into the roster creator. We're gonna be using the official, obviously, roster and we're going to be going all the way to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, they do have Dennis Schroeder, 80 overall, one of the best six men in the NBA, arguably should have been six man of the year. 80 overall is low key, even kind of slow for him when he was averaging 19 a game on four assists, 3.6 rebounds, a great efficiency, and a really good 3.5 field percentage of 39% from the line. It is a very good statistic. I wouldn't call him an amazing defender or anything, but he's shown that he is very, very good and had a good season with Atlanta as well. So it's not like he can't do this consistently. For the past three years, he's had, well, four years, he's had pretty good seasons. So this is the starting point guard the Lakers would get, and it's perfect because all they need is somebody that can kind of get them shots here and there. So let's trade with the other team, which is the Los Angeles Lakers. Now you're thinking, what is the Thunder getting in return? Well, the thing is, first thing is they're gonna be getting the Lakers first round pick, which I think is only like 28th pick or something, which is not great, but it's still, you still get a first pick. I mean, why not? And on top of that, apparently it is looking like Danny Green is going to be traded with this as well. That part is not confirmed, but it's, it's still in talks, but it is expected that Danny Green will be traded with Dennis Schroeder for the new season. So now you have Dennis Schroeder on the Lakers being the starting point guard. Now it says Alex Cruz was a shooting guard, but it's really going to be Contavious Caldwell Pope. So you have two guys that can get buckets on a consistent basis. You have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Dwight Howard, and you're already looking at one of the best starting lineups in the NBA right now. It is a great pickup for them. A lot of people are saying that Rondo might leave, and then there's talks that they might trade with the Spurs to get DeRozan for the Kuzma. So there's some talks about that stuff. So we don't know how the bench is going to look like just so far. Now, I have two emotions about this. Emotion number one, why trade anything? You, you have a good team. You won the championship. And in my opinion, you won it pretty easily. And I think they could probably do it again. So why trade anything? You have a good thing going. Why switch it up? Why make a giant overhaul when you have a good team? Then again, they just made their team better. So can you really blame them, right? So I think this is good. I don't think they need to trade it for anybody else. I think their bench is good enough, in my opinion. But... If they can get something for a good deal, then I wouldn't blame them for doing that either. But now the other team, which was a Thunder, right? Let's look at what they got in return. So now they have Chris Paul, Shea, and now Danny Green as probably the small forward for the team. I mean, there is other options, but at the end of the day, I guess, I mean, this is basically just what Andre Robertson was for them, but now can shoot better. But technically, Danny Green's been struggle city with eight points per game, three point. Three rebounds, one assist as an amazing defender. He's been a very good defender. His field goal percentage is rough. I know he only really shoots threes, but at 36%, or I guess 37% from the field, that's okay. But for being mainly a sharpshooter, you're not really shooting sharp, are you? You're just kind of doing okay on the three-point line. Not compared to the season we had with Toronto when he was averaging 46% from the three-point line, which was a lot better. And even back earlier with the Spurs when he was being a demon. So I think that I guess he fits the team a little more. But the question is, what are the Thunder going to do? Also, they made him very tan in the next generation. But what are the Thunder going to do? Are they going to keep Chris Paul? Are they just going to go back to making Shea the main point guard? Because they did let go of Dennis Schroeder, so you don't really know what they're gonna do with the point guard position so that's a big question mark all up in the air but i think that this trade made the lakers better i don't think this trade made the thunder better even if they got picks i know people like to get the first picks in the draft but when it's the 30 and the late 20s i don't it's very rare to get anybody really useful in those picks so when you already had dennis schroeder who was clearly good I don't see why you would downgrade. Why go put yourself in that position and get a player who's been struggling and trying to make him a starter on your team? I just don't see how this is fitting your mold and making you a better team. But for the Lakers, though, th this is absolutely a great situation you now have your biggest problem which was guard play and getting elite guards on your team to have dennis schroeder who is a borderline starter 
who is probably a starter on any other team, but because he was on, you know, the Thunder when they had Chris Paul, of course he wasn't going to be the starting point guard, but he'd be a starting point guard on most teams. This is a great situation for the Lakers, and I still have them as title favorites just because of how good they were last year and how I feel like they made themselves even better this year. Also, why does it say the Lakers have the Jordan logo? Has that always been the case? Has, is it? It's definitely Nike. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy and the Lakers are Jordan now, but I'm pretty sure they're Nike. What's going on? All right. So I don't know exactly when this is going to actually go through for two two ways. I don't know when it's going to go through in the NBA because I know the draft's on Wednesday, I believe. And then I don't know when it's going to go through in 2K because I don't know if they're going to be updating anything until the season starts. But no matter what, the season starts really soon. So no matter what, I'm excited. I don't care. I am just hyped that we're getting basketball really soon. We're already getting crazy roster changes already. And there's big talks of other teams. For example, the Spurs are really looking like they're going to be trading somebody. The Suns are looking like they want some trades. Uh, Chris Paul is going to be probably moved. And then you also have Drew Holiday probably going to the Hawks. Like You have some pretty crazy trades that are trying to happen. And teams that are trying to make themselves more impactful. And I think the Lakers noticed this. They noticed the teams are trying to make themselves better. And they said, okay, if they're going to push to make themselves better, we have to make sure we're even better than last year so that no one can take advantage of us. And on top of that, we're forgetting that the Warriors are still a thing, which some people think they're going to be making trades as well. A lot of people think that Andrew Wiggins is not going to stay. Plus, they have James Wiseman probably is going to be the center. So this team is also in a fight to become a champion next season. So next season, the Lakers aren't like a guaranteed win. It's going to be close. You still have the Clippers. So there's a lot of teams that have things that they could really, really scare the Lakers with. And I think that it's it's a smart move for the Lakers to do that. And then you have Danny Green, who, you know, they made him very tan. I saw a screenshot online and, and it, it's, you know, it's interesting. But again, they already made the like argument that they can't even like face scan everybody so far because like there's problems with the face like like so everybody was in the bubble so they couldn't bring people to get face scans so that was a whole situation that's why Danny Green does not look probably as normal and as next generation as he should right when you compare him to freaking Steph Curry who did get a face scan yeah he looks a lot more realistic compared to Danny Green obviously okay that's it for this video you guys what do you guys think about this trade is it a W or an L leave it in the comments below and hey if you like this channel give it a sub we're trying to get to 300,000 subscribers and see you guys next time if you want all the latest news of nba 2k and also nba in general you should follow me on my twitter account at pack hoops yt not only that i do giveaways all the time when it comes to vc games and also even consoles so check it out follow me and see you there